Welcome to a new daily top ask reddit video. Today's topic. Rule 34 artists of reddit, what was it like on the first time you started drawing porn? Sometimes I see rule 34 commissions my girlfriend is working on and I'm just really confused why somebody wants to have a drawing of that. It's a decent side income for her and most people who commission art from her seem quite polite and reliable about paying compared to when she does other stuff like band logo commissions. They just request some really odd things. A giant robot fridge with a dick that comes out of the freezer compartment that's simultaneously screwing a furry skunk character and turning them into an ice cube was a pretty memorable why. Moment. Because installing a dick in your fridge is impractical. The Adeptus Mechicus would disagree. You start with your own unique style, but kinda like the Skyrim stealth archer meme, you eventually and inevitably end up drawing for furries. Probably because that's where the money is. Furries will drop thousands in a costume, imagine what else they spend their money on. Edit. Thanks guys for making my top rated comment about furries. I'm honored. Furries are the 21st century equivalent of renaissance patrons. I used to do commissions on aim and furry art, mostly like personal characters or story type stuff for both, and yep furries love supporting artists and will gladly pay for it. They boast about the art they had done for them and send you to their friends etc. I actually really appreciate the furry community for that. They're like the one group of people that really wholly support artists. It was really embarrassing lol. I had to put down my tablet pen and just contemplate every five minutes because I felt like an absolute fool. You, staring at the zoomed in picture of a dick you're drawing, realizing that you've just spent 20 minutes carefully detailing realistic veins on that schlog, what the fuck am I doing with my life? God's work. He paused for a moment. He put down his pen. And not for the first time. He wondered again. He wondered aloud. Where his life went amiss. And how, he remarked. Did it all come to this? In front, there were lepers. All covered in bees. Cavorting with horses. And dwarf amputees. Surrounded by wizards. In corsets and hats. Who made love to lizards. And tentacle cats. He looked at his drawing. His image of dread. He stared with despair. And he just shook his head. The fruits of an artist. For someone to jerk. He thought of the money. He got back to work. I often used porn as a reference for drawings because it's easy to find pictures of naked people of all sizes in every imaginable posture. So it wasn't that much of a leap. It was on Daboru. You get a lot of likes and commissions. Easy money. But it gets old real quick. Don't know what people's deal is with tentacles. They always need more. I was inspired by Mara, who is a very fine artist. But he didn't only draw porn. You also start to understand things like why gynecologists aren't aroused by their work. My best friend, she's not a weeb by any stretch, has explained that tentacles in general came into Hittai because penises had to be censored. So the search for something phallic that was acceptable through the censors wound up with tentacles. It kinda became its own thing from there. Tentacles are flexible in ways penises aren't, and don't block views the way bodies do. They also don't have restrictions on weight, positioning, or number, so you have have a triple pen, or more, without any view obstruction, in poses that would be impossible in traditional porn involving humanoids. Edit, come on, people. A brief glance at other comments shows that the fisherman's wife has been mentioned by upwards of 15 to 20 other people at this point. Stop. I also had a girl explain why she, and some of her female friends, are so into tentacles, it's a totally submissive experience, zero control, that fulfills the gangbang fantasy without feeling like a slut. I had no idea what I was doing and drew really terrible anatomy. It really helped me realize that even for my SFW works perfecting a character's anatomy is very important to do before clothing them. Now it's just the same as if I was drawing anything else except I'm mildly horny during the process. Edit, I don't post anything on Reddit or under this name BTW. Just a heads up. This is the cartoonist Kai Fabanza I was looking for. Needed to get better at human anatomy. What, there's money in drawing porn. Really is a win, win. Everyone interested in drawing and cartooning go check out the puka sluts at https www.youtube.com forward slash c forward slash cartoonist Kai Fab. It's a side hustle. 
I'm not a full-time artist or aspiring to be one, it's a hobby for me, but dead as fur is put artists through college. It's a solid way to make money but it's embarrassing. Hence why I don't tell anyone I do it bc they judge me. The first time I was just kind of like damn has it really come to this. But now it's just a convenient way to make money. Yeah. I have a sketchbook just for my NSFW stuff and I had to label it so people would just pick it up to look through. Got tired of explaining to friends no, I'm not into that. I get paid to draw that. What do you label it? Commissioned furry porn, I'm not into it. Posting for my so, since she does not use a reddit. Pros, money is great, nobody bitches and whines about paying in exposure, most clients are polite. Cons, some requests make you hate human race, you can't even mention you are a female cause they will simp all over you, some clients can be very picky about end products details, dot ask. If I'm paying for porn, it better be amazing porn just saying. This. I better count the sweat and the veins of that dick if I'm paying for porn. Why, wouldn't someone be picky about their porn if they're paying for it? Not saying they should not be. But sometimes they can be annoying beyond beliefs. I was in math class and I was bored. I was trying to draw the three-titted whore from the cover of Flash Fearless Versus. The Zork women and suddenly I had new friends in Driver's Editor. They were trying to get the friend discount. Drew a stigma with one leg too many. And large glasses that were not on the face. What was it like first? Well I had to change my underwear a couple of times. Being able to draw exactly what you imagine is something that's hard to describe without trying it out. When I first started sharing my art online I used to get somewhere between 0 and 10 likes on it. After switching to NSFW, those numbers went to 100s and sometimes 1000z. I still haven't made any money out of this but that's something I hope to be able to do in the future. I still haven't made any money out of this but that's something I hope to be able to do in the future. May I ask why? If you get over a thousand likes it seems to me that you can open up for commissions right? Probably just the lack of self-confidence. I started drawing about two years ago and all the amazing art online just makes me feel way inferior. It's something that I do plan on doing in the future, I just don't feel like I'm ready to commit in social media advertising and other hassle involved in getting clients. It was the other day, someone told me to do it, and it seems, I always do what I'm told. Their suggestion and my talent yielded something the world should never have seen. Well, now I wanna see. Oh she's a fine lass. Please be kind, the truth is I have no talent, and at the moment very little grasp on reality. Artists, can't find the right pawn to jerk off to, makes one. Oh yeah. Now if art wouldn't take time and motivation it'd be perfect. Fine, I'll do it myself. TL, Doctor it started as a desperate way to deal with my PTSD, now it's a financially successful comic with over 140 pages. I started writing a porn comic as a way to deal with a near-death experience I went through. I had to be put into a medically induced coma for over a week because of a really bad upper respiratory infection, not COVID-19, and I have PTSD from the that. It is nightmarish to wake up in a hospital from a coma and have a whole building full of people basically do whatever they want with you and your body without even consulting you. At first, making porn was embarrassing, but my need to express what I had been through in a free way outweighed that embarrassment. In order for me to write the dialogue and plan out the plot, I had to access feelings and memories I was trying so hard not to connect with. Creating characters I could empathize with was difficult, but it was easier than empathizing with other people because I had come to distrust other humans so deeply. A few months after I started making the comic and releasing it for free online, I found people were collecting it. They urged me to start a crowdfunding site, which became pretty successful. Now, two years later, multiple chapters of the comic have come out and it's the main source of income for the illustrator I partner with. Edit, since people are asking, the name of the comic is Princess Claire, a royal endowment. Heads up though, if you don't like Futa, Girls with huge dicks, you will not like this comic. SFW sample of the comic. Name of the comic. Princess Claire, a royal endowment. Warning, it's mostly about women with giant dicks. Till. I didn't need to know any of this. Just had to read it all. Can't use e. I'm going down the rabbit hole right now.
Should I venture deeper ye wise master? Venture deep in me daddy. Annoying. The first time you try to draw anatomy you've never done before it's a pain in the ass. Boobs are surprisingly hard to make look right. Then again some people pull a Michelangelo and staple them on and it looks awful but no one notices. Edit, welp now my top comment is my bitching about poorly drawn boobs on the internet. I should not be surprised.